right, what's up guys? Derek here from Seminet Nutrition. So welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you everything that I eat on an average day to succeed on this vegan diet. So as you guys saw there, I just got back from a nice hard workout and I definitely worked up a huge appetite. So I'm gonna show you what I'm having after my workout to help myself recover. And as you guys know, I've been pretty consistent with what I have after my workouts since, pretty much since I started this YouTube channel. It's always been like a big smoothie or a smoothie bowl. Occasionally I'll have oatmeal or something like that, but today is no exception, I'm definitely going to be making a smoothie bowl to help myself recover from that big workout. And I'll show you guys what I'm going to put in there. And then as the day goes on, there'll definitely be some other recipes that you guys haven't seen yet. So stick around because if you guys know this one already, trust me, there'll be some different ones later on that you guys don't know yet. So I always like to start out with bananas as the base of my smoothie. It's just a great source of calories. They're always easily available. They're nice and cheap. So I'm going to start out with two frozen bananas and then one fresh banana. We've got about a cup and a half to two cups of frozen berries here as well. And then I'm going to be putting some greens in there. Always got to have those greens. And herbs are such a powerful green, so full of minerals, chlorophyll, many other things that help us to recover. So this here is some cilantro and some parsley. And then I've also got some dates I'm going to be putting in there. I just like this because it helps to bump up the calories, adds a little bit of sweetness to it as well. And then we've got some flaxseed. Ground flax is a great source of omega-3 fatty acids, so we don't want to forget that. Then I've got some turmeric and black pepper. I have them both ground up together, and uh, as you guys know, this is a great and powerful anti-inflammatory, really good at helping to prevent certain types of cancers as well. And then I'm going to be adding some protein powder. This is definitely not necessary for you to succeed on a vegan diet, but if you are trying to make those gains like I am, then this can definitely help. And you guys know that I like this Vivo Life protein powder. If you want, you can use my discount code for 10% off. And it's a great tasting, no bloating protein powder. Digests really easily. It's awesome. So I'm also going to be using some of their maca as well. This is a root vegetable from Peru, and it's a good adaptogen. And that means that it'll help your body to deal with different stresses. And that's important if you're going as hard as I do. And then we've also got some almond milk. I'm just gonna be putting a splash of that in there to get it all going. My favorite spoon. So there's the finished product. It looks so good. I'm so excited to eat this. I am so hungry. So you guys saw I added a few things on top and that was just a few raisins, some puffed rice. I usually like granola on there, but we just don't have any right now. And then there's also some more frozen berries and then topped with some shredded coconut. All right, so preemptively putting a sweatshirt on because I know this smoothie bowl is gonna make me cold, but man, I miss it when I don't have it, so gotta have it. So anyways, I've got some work to do on the computer, so I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna eat this smoothie bowl, and then I will meet you guys back here in a little while for lunch. In the meantime, why don't you guys enjoy this gratuitous footage of my beautiful neighborhood <laughs> from the drone. <gasps> So we're back in the kitchen, it's time to make some lunch. I hope you guys enjoyed your flight over Vancouver Island there. Uh, so I'm gonna make a really quick lunch because the day is getting away from me. It's like almost dinner time. And in a lot of cases, I just like wouldn't have lunch if this you know, usually happens and I'd just wait and have like a really massive dinner. But I love showing you guys three different recipes in the day. So that's what we're gonna do now. I'm gonna make a really quick salad, make an awesome salad dressing, show you guys how I make that. And I'm gonna make some baked tempeh. So let's get on with it. I've just cut it into strips. I'm gonna pour a little bit of this Bragg's liquid soy seasoning on there. You could use something like uh, tamari or soy sauce would work as well. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that in there. And then a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of onion powder, and I'm gonna mix it around. So you can see that's nicely coated. And then I'm just gonna put it on a baking sheet here. And then I'll just pop that in the toaster oven for not long, maybe 10 minutes at the very most. Just want to heat it up and, you know, get the outside to just start to brown. So you definitely don't have to cook tempeh. You can eat it totally raw and it's totally fine. I just like to cook it. I like having, especially when it's cold like this, I like having something warm on top of my salads and I find like cooking kind of like locks in all those flavors that I just put on top of it. So while that's cooking, I'm just going to blend up a quick salad dressing. 
All right, so here's everything that's going into the salad dressing. We've got some spices, we got onion powder, garlic powder, and some organic no salt seasoning. This is just like, oh, dominoes. This is just like a whole bunch of spices that are mixed together. It's actually really nice. And then we've got some tahini as well. That's going in there. It's gonna add some thickness and some healthy fats to the sauce. We've got mustard. This is great to add to sauces. It's like my little secret weapon here. It helps the fats from the tahini to emulsify and to like, uh, for the everything to kind of stay together. So when we mix it with water, it's gonna help everything to kind of blend and stay blended. And then we've got some liquid soy seasoning. It's gonna add a little bit of saltiness and that umami flavor to the dressing. And lemon, this is gonna add a little bit of tang. And then of course the dates, it's gonna add some sweetness. So you guys know I always say sweet, salty, and sour or tangy are the three flavors that kind of make up a good salad dressing. And so for sweet, we've got the dates. For salty, we've got the liquid soy seasoning. And then for tangy, we've got the lemon and the mustard's gonna add to that as well. So you guys can see there, I cut some of the zest off the lemon, and this is great to add to sauces, especially when you're blending them, uh, because it adds so much of that lemony flavor. I'm just gonna cut it up a little bit more, just to make sure that it's easy on the blender, so you don't want any chunks of this in there. And then some of the lemon juice. And then I'm just gonna add some water as well as the base of the dressing. All right, so now that it's all blended up, I'm gonna give it a try. Wow, so good. But as you can see, it could be a little thicker. I got a solution for that. So I'm gonna add some avocado to it. It's a great way to thicken salad dressings. And another very healthy fat. All right, so you can see there now, Thickened it right up. So good. Now time to chop up some vegetables, get some lettuce in a bowl, and put it all together. So since it's persimmon season right now, we had a couple that were ripening on our shelf here and I absolutely love them on salads. I think they're so good. So I'm gonna be chopping up some of this and putting it on the salad as well. Wow, there it is all put together. Look how good that looks. This is the reason right here why I hardly go out for dinner because I can make it better myself. <laughs> all right, so I better try it out for you guys. I get a little bit of everything in here. Every damn time, I make like the best meal I've ever had. Like <laughs> every single day. All right, so I'm gonna go and finish this and basically gonna do like just turn around and come right back into the kitchen and make dinner. So this is basically an appetizer at this point, but uh, yeah, I know you guys love seeing like different, you know, things that I make and getting different ideas. And uh, I think the salad dressings are like super valuable because you gotta make your food taste good and everybody knows how to throw a salad together, but making it taste good is a different story. So I'll see you guys in like two seconds. <laughs> All right, see, I told you guys, <laughs> I'll be right back. So we're gonna make dinner, and for dinner, we're gonna have some chili, and it's not gonna be like a super long cooking chili, I'm just gonna cook this one up like really, really quickly. And I've actually already got some yam fries in the oven that I prepared uh, when I was eating that salad and fired them in the oven, so those will be done at around the same time the chili's gonna be, and then I'm gonna have them both together. It's gonna be so good. So. Uh, I'll show you guys how I'm gonna make this chili. Oh, but first, uh, I, I guess I should tell you how I made the yam fries. Really simple, I just chopped them up into like evenly sized, like, you know, big fry pieces. And then I just tossed them in some of this, um, <clears throat> like Trader Joe's seasoning that we have. It's like a lime and chili seasoning. And it's pretty salty, so if you do get it, just be mindful of that. You don't need to add too much of it because the flavor goes a long way. Uh, but yeah, they're gonna be really, really nice. And uh, I'll show you guys how I'm gonna make this chili. So just in the best interest of time and this not being like a 30 minute what I eat in a day video, I've already got everything prepared. So we've got some chopped carrots, purple cabbage, some celery, 
some tomatoes. Now, these tomatoes aren't all that ripe, which is too bad, um, but I did want to have some fresh tomatoes in there, but luckily enough, at the local health food store, they have these amazing diced tomatoes, and they're no salt added, and it's just organic tomatoes and organic tomato juice, BPA-free cans, very, very cool, and they're cheap too. They're only like $1.50 Canadian per can, so I'm gonna be adding two cans of that as well, and then under here, chopped onion. <laughs> it was just kind of making me cry, so I covered them up. Some fresh garlic, along with some frozen peas. I'll be adding these really late in the cooking because I don't like the peas to get too, like, you know, brown and mushy and all that. We've got some frozen corn as well, and then a bunch of different beans. We've got black beans and then just some mixed beans here, and those are canned as well. Of course, you could use your own fresh beans, but we have these same beans, uh, or the same company makes these beans, and they're like no salt added, they're super cheap, they're organic, BPA-free cans, so it's really not that motivating to make my own beans. So uh, yeah, we just always get these. So in order to make all these vegetables taste amazing and like chili, we're gonna have to add some seasoning. So we've got some garlic powder, some onion powder, some ground cumin, and then this is some chili spice as well. So I'm preheating that nice deep pot and then we're basically just gonna add the vegetables in the order that they need to be cooked in. So first is gonna go in the onions and the carrots and then basically like everything else and then I'll just simmer it for a little while. Oh, minus the peas. So once the onions get sort of translucent as you can see and the carrots start to soften up then it's time to add everything else. So at this point I realized I kind of used too small of a pot and I forgot we had this big soup pot hiding in the back of the cupboard so I'm gonna like continue everything in there. Man, that is smelling so good. I wish you guys could smell it. So I'm gonna let that simmer for a little while and I'm actually gonna let it simmer with the lid off because I'm hoping like some of the liquid evaporates and the flavors get like all concentrated. It's gonna be so good, especially on top of those yam fries which are actually done. I just turned the oven off and they're looking amazing. So while we're waiting for that to cook, I just wanna share something with you guys really quickly because I'm super excited about this. So I know I get a lot of questions from you guys. I get a lot of DMs, I get a lot of messages and comments saying like, Derek, I love following along with your recipes, but I just like don't know how to create my own. Like, what do you think about how do you like formulate your recipes? Like what goes through your mind? So what I decided to do was like come up with a free ebook that's like my easy vegan meal planner ebook. And it basically just goes through like all the steps that I think about when I'm creating like super nutritious and delicious meals. So if you guys are interested in it, there'll be a link in the description box down below and I know this is gonna help you guys out. Like I said, it's totally free. You just put in your email address and I'll email it right to you. No catch or anything like that. And it just basically goes through like all the steps that I think about when I'm making my meals and then it gives you like a couple um, example meals as well and then a couple like free recipes from my recipe ebook. And it's gonna be super helpful to you guys. I know it's really awesome. I'm super proud of it. So check it out if you're interested and uh, if you're not, totally Totally cool as well, but I know it's gonna be helpful to a lot of you guys. This is almost done cooking, and once it is, I'm gonna plate everything up and I'll show you guys how good this is all gonna look and taste. Ooh, I almost forgot to add the peas. Hey, get down. He just wants to be on camera so badly. So there you go, Cookie. There's your time to shine. <laughs> yeah. These are so good. I love yam fries. I know a lot of you guys try and tell me, no, these are sweet potatoes. But look, I looked at the labels today at the store and these, they call yams. The other ones, they call sweet potatoes. Wow, okay, so there it is all done. It looks so good. I'm so excited to eat this, holy crap. But, not done yet. I got a couple ideas for it still. So, you guys know I had to put some hot sauce and some nutritional yeast on there. Just take it up to another level. Wow, that's an awesome looking meal. All right, so I guess I better try it so you guys know how good it is. 
It looks good, that's for sure. That's for some nice presentation. You guys know presentation is not my forte, but I think I nailed it on this one. Mmm, really good. I think for most people's taste buds, including mine, it could probably have a little salt on it and some avocado as well. <laughs> Holy, wow, yeah, unbelievable. Do you want to try it, babe? Yes. Do you want to be in the video? I know you guys always ask, you're like, why don't you make food for a crystal? Well, a lot of the time I do make food for her. Oh my gosh, what did you make? Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> yeah. What is going on here? Okay, well I guess let's go. Ooh. <laughs> mm. I like your, your effort. I know, I know, that's what I was saying to these guys. I was like, my presentation today is on point. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh. I don't ever show my meals because they just are like piled <laughs> together, but this is very nice. Can I try a little chili? Yeah, try the chili. It's good. good. There's lots left over for you. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna go and enjoy dinner together. I hope you guys like this video. Definitely let me know in the comments down below. What else should they do? Make some yam fries. These are no, amazing. No, like the video. Yeah, like the, like the video. Subscribe, right. hit the like button, tell your friends, <laughs> Okay. show your dog. All right. <laughs> <laughs> <Bye. laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this gave you some good ideas for uh, different vegan meals you can make in the kitchen. See you guys soon.